Welcome to Miss Smith's Math Tutorials. I'm Miss Smith. In this video, we're going to be talking about triangle terms and various characteristics you should know, um, be able to recognize about triangles. The first thing we're going to talk about is how you could tell if three given sides actually form a triangle or not. The way we can tell that is to determine if three links form a triangle, the sum, remember sum means adding, the sum of the two smaller sides must be larger than the longest side. So we just have to add the two smaller sides and say, are they bigger than the longest side? So here's a couple examples. Here's 8, 9, and 13. So I would say, okay, my two smallest sides are 8 and 9. So I would say, okay, 8 plus 9. What is their relation to 13. Okay, well 8 plus 9 I know is 17. And is 17 greater than 13? Yes, right? So these three links can reasonably form a triangle. Okay, let's try this one. So I take my two smallest sides. I've got 2, 8, and 3. So my two smallest sides are two and three. Probably the biggest um, student error I see is they just go in order. They just pick the first two and then compare it to the third. Um, and that's, that's not accurate. You wanna pick the lowest two. So two plus three. And let's compare that to eight. Well, I know two plus three is five. And is five greater than eight? We know that's not true. Eight is actually bigger than five. So what this would look like, and I'm just gonna do a rough sketch, but this would be kind of like if we had two sides and then one side didn't fit all the way, right? So this is not a triangle because we've got a gap there. Um, so I'm not saying this would match this, I'm just showing you an example, okay? Um, so that's how we can tell if three links are indeed a triangle or not. The next thing that we want to look at is um, what type of triangle um, is it in terms of, is it an acute triangle, is it an obtuse triangle, or is it a right triangle? So there's a really, a couple really easy ways to tell. So if it's an acute triangle, we should be able to take the two smaller sides, the two legs, A and B, and square them, and they should be larger than the largest side squared. For obtuse angles, I can take the two legs, square them, add them together, and that would be less than the longest side squared. And then for a right triangle, this is kind of a callback to um, Pythagorean theorem. So a squared plus b squared will equal c squared. If I get the same answer here as I do here, then that is called a right triangle. And another way to call to say it is a Pythagorean triple. Okay, that's these two say the same thing: a right triangle and a Pythagorean triple. Okay, so let's look at a few examples and let's first decide, are these even a triangle? And if they are a triangle, then let's look at, are they acute, are they obtuse, or are they right? Okay, so let's look at the first one. First, let's follow this rule up here. Is it even a triangle? So remember, we gotta take the two smaller sides. So in this time, it's uh, 12 and nine. 17 will be my largest side. So let's say 9 plus 12 and let's look at that in relation to 17. Okay, well 9 plus 12 is 21. So is 21 larger than 17? And we would say yes, 21 is larger than 17. So, so far we have proved that this is a triangle, um, but we just need to figure out which one. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna just follow this pattern. I'm gonna take the shorter side, and we'll call it A, nine squared. So let's say nine squared plus B squared. That's my other leg, that's the next smallest side, 12. 
And we would say, what is the relationship between that and 17 squared? That's our largest side. So I always like to bring in the calculator at this point to save some solving time. So I would say 9 squared plus 12 squared. And let's see what that reduces to. 225. So let's write that. 225. Okay, and what is 17 squared? 289. Okay, so which one is bigger, 225 or 289? Well, 289 is bigger. So remember, if a squared plus b squared is less than c squared, so here we go, a squared plus b squared is less than c squared, then that's an obtuse triangle. So we can go ahead and label this one is obtuse. Okay, let's look at this one. So uh, first let's determine is this even a triangle. We got to take our two smallest sides, 5 plus 6, and is that greater than 7? Well 5 plus 6 we know is 11, and 11 is greater than 7. Yes, so so far so good. It is a triangle. Now we need to figure out which kind. So let's plug in our shortest side, a squared, five squared, plus this next shortest side, six squared, so will be our b squared. And one important thing is I just always pick the lowest one for a. It doesn't actually matter, right? I could have called six a and five b. Um, it, these two are, are interchangeable. It won't affect your answer whether I switched those or not. Okay, just a little side note. All right, and then we've got seven squared. Okay, so I could do these in my head and add them up, but let's save some time and use the calculator. So we've got five squared plus six squared, and that is 61. And then our seven squared, that's 49. So we've got 61 and 49. Okay, so which one is bigger, 61 or 49? Obviously the 61 is. So remember, if a squared plus b squared is greater than c squared, this is an acute triangle. So we can say this one is acute. All right, let's try this next one. So I've got 15, 20, and 25. Hopefully you're starting to get the hang of this a little bit. Let's first see if it is a triangle. Let's do 15 plus 20, my two smaller sides. And then the largest side is 25. So let's compare 15 plus 20, that is 35. And is 35 greater than 25? Yes. Okay, so we're good. It is a triangle. Let's see what kind. Um, so I take my two smaller sides, in this case 15 and 20. I'm going to say 15 squared plus 20 squared. And let's see the relationship for those with 25 squared. So I'm going to bring out my calculator to help me. 15 squared plus 20 squared. That would be 625. All right, and then 25 squared, also 625. Okay, so let's look at this. So when I simplified both of these, they were both 625. So what do we do when a squared plus b squared equals c squared? Well, that's a right triangle or I could call them a Pythagorean triple. Okay, I could use either terminology. I'm just gonna call it a right triangle. Okay, let's look at one more example. 15, four, and five. Let's just confirm first off, is this a triangle? So I take my two smaller sides, in this case four and five, and I add them together. So four plus five, and we'll compare that to the longest side, 15. So four plus five is nine. And let's think, is nine greater than 15? No, right? Nine is less than 15. So this is not a triangle. Okay, so I don't even have to go further and say, okay, let me try the a squared plus b squared. It's not a triangle. If I tried to um, actually 
draw that, I would probably end up something like this, right? Where one of my sides just didn't connect, okay? Um, so those are not a triangle. Okay, you guys try this one. So it says, do the below measurements form a triangle? So that would be yes or no. Do these measurements, 8, 15, and 17, is it possible that they form a triangle? Okay, and if yes, if so, what type of triangle is it? So you need to be able to tell me, is it an acute, is it an obtuse, or is it a right triangle, aka Pythagorean triple? Okay, I will post the answer in the video description below. This has been Miss Smith's Math Tutorials.